Let us pray for the church and for vocations. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, we praise and acknowledge your holy and divine presence here in the Blessed Sacrament. Thank you for being truly present body, blood, soul, and divinity in the most holy Eucharist. Your sacrificial act of love, redemption through the cross, is open for us the gates of heaven and reconcile us to the Father. For this, we are eternally grateful in union with the Blessed Virgin Mary, all the angels and saints. We join our voices to theirs in praise and thanksgiving. We ask your constant care and guidance for our Holy Father, Pope Francis, and then all other bishops, and especially for our local bishop, Bishop Kevin Van. Lord, we humbly ask your continued blessing and protection over our parish priests and deacons, seminarians, religious, and each member of our parish. And ask that you speak to their hearts and draw from among them priests deacons, sisters, and brothers, and lay ministers to work in your vineyard as disciples. We place before you those among us who are in need or sick in any way, especially those who are near death. Please minister to them the graces they need in their lives right now. Give comfort and healing to all, especially to those who are most in need. We offer up our prayers and thanksgiving for our favors received. Help us to be good stewards of your gifts as we strive to serve you and lead one another to heaven. Amen. Tantum ergo et antiquum documentum no voce da trichui, preces fides supplementum, sensum de fetui. Genitori, genitoque, laus et subit lasio. Salus on vitus coque, sit et benedicio. Procedenti ab uchoque, compassit laudacio. Amen. You have given the bread from heaven. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, you give us the Eucharist as a memorial of suffering and death. May our worship of this sacrament of your body and blood help us to experience the salvation you won for us and the peace of the kingdom where you live with the Father and the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Let us pray the divine praises. Blessed be God. Blessed be his holy name. Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be his most sacred heart. 
Blessed be his most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the paraclete. Blessed be the great mother of God, Mary, most holy. Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, virgin and mother. Blessed be St. Joseph, her mother's spouse. Blessed be God in his angels and in his saints. Holy God, we praise thy name. Lord of all, we bow before thee. All on earth thy scepter claim. All in heaven above adore thee infinite thy vast domain everlasting is thy reign infinite thy vast
and life without end forever. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. As we gather here this morning to celebrate the Eucharist, and today with the church, we honor Saint, uh, Santa Claus, who gives life for the faith back in the 11th century. He's a, he's a patron of Poland, who has a big heart for the poor. To prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries, let us pause for a moment and recall to my our sins. You will send here the contrary of heart, Lord have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ have mercy. You are seated at right Father to the seat for us, Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O oh God, for, the, for, for whose honor the Bishop of St. Stanislaus fell beneath the sword of his persecutors, when we pray, that we may persevere strong in faith even until death. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. When the court officers had brought the apostles in and made them stand before the Sanhedrin, the high priest questioned them. We gave you strict orders, did we not, to stop teaching in that name. Yet you have filled Jerusalem with your teaching and want to bring this man's blood upon us. But Peter and the apostles said in reply, We must obey God rather than men. The God of our ancestors raised Jesus, though you had him killed by hanging him on a tree. God exalted him at his right hand as leaders and savior to grant Israel repentance and forgiveness of sins. We are witnesses of these things, as is the Holy Spirit whom God has given to those who obey him. When they heard this, they became infuriated and wanted to put them to death. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall be ever in my mouth. Taste and see how good the Lord is. Blessed the man who takes refuge in him. Hey, the Lord hears the cry of the poor. The Lord confronts the evildoers to destroy remembrances of them from the earth. When the just cry out, the Lord hears them, and from all their distress he rescues them. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. The Lord is close to those to the broken is close to the brokenhearted, and those who are crushed in spirit he saves. Many are the troubles of the just man, but out of them all the Lord delivers him. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. You believe in me, Thomas, because you have seen me, says the Lord. Blessed are those who have not seen, but still believe. Alleluia, alleluia, 
The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to Nicodemus, The one who comes from above is above all, and the one who is of the earth is earthly and speak of earthly things. But the one who comes from heaven is above all. He testifies to what he has seen and heard, but no one accepts his testimony. Whoever does not accept his testimony, whoever does accept his testimony certifies that God is trustworthy. For the one whom God sent speaks the words of God. He does not ration his gift of the Spirit. The Father loves the Son and has given everything over to him. Whoever believes in the Son has eternal life. But whoever disobeys the Son will not see life, but the wrath of God remains upon him. The Gospel of the Lord. Before Jesus ascended into heaven, he commissioned the, the apostles to go and preach the good news, to go and baptize all people, all nations, in the name of the Holy Trinity, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And we recognize that when the apostles received the Holy Spirit, they were transformed from being fearful to someone who was with great courage and faith to preach the good news despite oppositions. I will continue to hear from the books of uh, the Acts of the Apostles. We have an account in the Gospel, uh, in the reading today, where Peter and the Apostles, they preached the good news and they met uh, oppositions. The people put them in prison and they were liberated and continued to preach. So in the, in the reading where they were brought before the Sanhedrin, it says, we told you not to preach in the name of Jesus, not to talk about this man anymore. But what was their response? We have to obey, obey God rather than man. Obeying God rather than man. At times, there will be a conflict between the divine law and the silver law. You know, at those moments, what should we, what should we do? Certainly, we have to pray and we have to discern a lot to make sure that we truly obey the law of God. And in order to discern the spirit, in order to discern God's law, then we need to know, we need to know our faith. We need to know the Bible. We need to know the catechism so that we would be able to follow the law of God. But in order for, and to help us to discern God's, God's law and God's way, then time in prayer, living the life of the sacrament, and consulting and sharing, talking to other people as well to help us to truly following the law of God. Because, you know, for secular people and even in the church and for religious as well, when they don't want to follow or certain laws or when the, uh, the people who do not want to follow the superior, then they try to use that defense as, oh, I'm following God's law. But in order for us to discern what's God's law, and what is our will and God's will? Certainly, a, pray, a life of prayer and knowing our faith would help. When we know our faith, then we would be able to spread, to share the good news, to share our faith with others as well. As the apostles, they would transform after receiving the Holy Spirit. Hopefully, all of us 
continue to pray for the gift of the Holy Spirit to give us that faith and that courage to continue to share the good news with all, despite persecution and oppositions. As we seek to follow Christ to fullness of life, we turn to him with our prayers and petitions. For all members of the church, may the voice of Christ be our guide and lead us to deeper faith in him. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who govern, may God grant them the humility to be guided by his word. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those burdened by any kind of difficulty, May Christ shine his healing light upon them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For this assembly, may God create in each one of us a contrite spirit that is pleasing to him. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the faithful departed, may they be crowned with the glory of everlasting life in heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the petitions in, our, in the silence of our hearts, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for the eternal repose of the faithful departed, together we pray for the intention of this Mass for the repose of the soul of Elizabeth Huang. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Almighty and ever-living God, we ask you to hear and answer the prayers we have brought before you. For we pray through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands is to become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, is to become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Amen. Receive, we pray, O Lord, the sacrifice of conciliation and praise, which we offer to your majesty in commemoration of the blessed mother, St. St. Claus that it may lead us to obtain pardon and confirm us in the perpetual thanksgiving through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let the thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just saluting our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for the blood of the blessed martyr, Santa Claus, pour out like Christ to glorify your name, show forth your marvelous works, by which in a weakness 
you perfect your power and on the favor be so strength to bear you witness through Christ our Lord. And so with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth and before your majesty with our end. We acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is the seas who comes to the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time we betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and gave one thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more gave him thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenants, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation. We give them thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be guided to one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your just breath throughout the world, and bring out of the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Kevin, our Bishop, Timothy and Titan, his assistant bishops, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her mother's spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who are pleased with all ages, we may merit to be called heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the several command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. As we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace to leave you, my peace I give you. 
Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called the Supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Communion antiphon. Unless a grain of wheat falls to the ground and dies, this remains just a grain of wheat. But if it dies, it produces much fruit. Hallelujah.
let us pray. We have received your heavenly gifts, rejoicing at the feast day, O Lord. Right, we pray that we who in this divine banquet proclaim the death of your Son may merit to be partakers with the holy martyrs in his resurrection and his glory, who lives and reigns forever and ever. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace. Saint Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our defense against the weakness and the snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray, and do thou a prince and heavenly host by the power of God, thrust into our Satan and all the evil spirit who prowl about the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Immaculate.